Hi everyone, just going to show you a quick video on how to install a dash cam in a Volkswagen Golf so you don't have wires hanging down or your dash cam falling off. All you're going to need is a flathead screwdriver. So what you want to do is kind of pace it out to see roughly how much wire you're going to need to run it down to your cigarette lighter. Now you can wire these in direct. Make sure you've got the right voltage. So what you want to do is that goes in there. Now, what we'll do is all excess wire will uh, squeeze under here and roughly how much wire you need, which will run under here, underneath the glove compartment. Now, in other countries, steering wheel will be on this side. It's just the exact opposite. So that's roughly how much I'm gonna need. So the first thing is we're gonna feed the wire underneath this side panel here. So the quickest way with this panel here and feeding the wire through underneath the, the glove compartment box is just feeding it in through here and just keep feeding it and eventually you'll find it somewhere, just reach it and then you can pull it out. What you can do is get a flathead screwdriver and pop it in under here and the side panel will pop off. Be careful with the clips, you don't want to break. Pop this panel off, it'll make it a little easier through the next stage. And you're going to feed the wire from underneath through this section here. And you should be able to see it go through quite quickly. Uh, you can do the same technique, just feed, 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 and then grab. Here we go. Sorry, pop through. I'm trying to get my finger in there. Small hands will work immensely in this job. I've big fat fingers. What you want to do is, with your cable, work out how much you need with your dash cam. I need about this much. And then you can go ahead and squeeze it all in the top. Now, if it doesn't quite squeeze in there, you can grab a flathead screwdriver and very gently pop the wire in there. You'll squeeze in there the cut side pillar cover off and you just pry it out slightly. You don't need to go overboard. Slide one end through there and then push that up there. And then what we're going to do is, now that we know that that's the length of the cable, run the cable all along the side here. Run the cable all along the side here. Put it through down the bottom here, just to there. So, and then we're gonna put the cable in there. So then we're gonna push the side pillar casing back on. Make sure you hear it clip back in place. And from here, we're gonna run the wire through this seal here and you just feed it in by hand quite simply and then I'll stay in there. Pull from underneath the cable so it's nice and tight in there and you can go ahead and apply your casing covers back on. So this piece goes in on an angle and we'll just pull all the rubbers in place and it should clip in place and these rubbers should go along here. That goes in there, simple as that. And then you can apply your side cover back on, top on, here the clips in. That's Sorry with this section here, but underneath the excess wire, what you can do is when you have it here, there's these little clips that you just sort of hang them underneath, push them in place, and you can go across. And it holds them in place nice and tight without falling down ever. Um, and this one here really gets it in place, so Make sure that goes in under there. So one is that to come out. To go there. They get pushed across. Sorry, trying to do this with one hand's a little bit more difficult. And then you get to the end. And when you get to the end, you've got that little bit of extra. And you just grab this cable, pull it through. Nice and tight. For a five minute job, this is amazing. I highly recommend it. Get all the cables out of the way. Your car looks neat. You don't have hanging cables down here, which could be a dangerous thing. Um, if you like my video, like, subscribe. Now on the other hand, you can buy dash cams in the link below, which does help me out. But I got this little guy here. Uh, $15 delivered. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply him just underneath my rear view mirror here with some double sided tape and you won't even see it that it's there.